other parts of the country as well as other uh, countries also. I could see some of the delegates came from China. Some of the other media people also entered this uh, venue. When I welcome all of you, the people, they asked me to wind up the speech uh, in a short span of time, but I am not going to do that, sorry. This is one of the thirst area of the government. Today what we are passing through, lot of turbulence in the solar, all has to be addressed. My friends are talking in a different way. First, I would wish and I would like to see that all our ambitions are fulfilled, whether it's a farmer, whether it's a solar rooftop, or whether it's an energy vehicle or energy storage. Yes, India has created a wonderful policies. But how to implement? Who are the authorities to implement? Who are the decision makers? When I call for this every function of EQ International, I insist my friends, Mr. Anand Gupta, you must bring the decision makers on the dais today like what we had two gentlemen, one is from MNRE, Joint Secretary Mr. Gopalji, and as well as the Reva Reformist uh, Mr. Manu. I am grateful to all of you, sir, because the officials are the architect of this country, whatever the government plans and keep the policies, you are the authorities to see that this reaches to the common man and to the industries. Once again, I welcome all of you for this meeting on behalf of Indian Solar Association. I represent Indian Solar Association as well as the other organizations and I'm a coordinator for Invest India in the country for attracting investments. Eco International is keep on conducting various conferences. Once again, my congratulations for all of them. Sir, my friend from S Bank has raised many questions regarding the farmers, regarding rooftops and all. Before going for all, let us achieve in this country what the farmer wants, the uninterrupted power for 24 bar 7. So let us install all the solar pumps across the country in all the farmer lands. Then we talk about how to increase the excess power produced by him either to the grid or how to solve the problems. So we are at the preliminary stage. Various governments for the past three years after our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has taken charge and a lot of initiation has taken place. Even day after tomorrow, everybody knows that International Solar Alliance, the founding day ceremony also being going to held up held in uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan. A lot of uh, 26 foreign countries also taking part of that. We are proud at this movement to see all these events are taking place at the same time. There are a lot of grievances in the sector also. I suggest, first of all, as raised by some of my friends, the issues related for the lands, which is the primary requirement of solar power plant, has to be cleared off, has to be set up. What is the initiation, the policy created by the government as on date? Everybody knows that we are in the federal system. Each and every state government may have different policies, even in the acquisition of the land. Karnada government has announced that 90 days a deemed conversion can be given for the all solar for developers. But still, in many of the solar parks, we are facing the land issues. Even in the private sector, we are facing the land issues. So I suggest the government, government of India, like uh, how one country, one tax, we want to create one country, one policy, one tariff, one bank, and one kind of solution for all these grievances. First, the land's problems should be sorted out. Then, the grids has to be strengthened by green corridor or strengthening the existing discom grids. We know very well in this country many discoms are under losses. My friend was asking how can you incentivize the solar additional rooftop or the farmer production. I am asking how to incentivize the discom first. Many of the discoms are in loss. So we brought with a scheme. Many of the discoms joined. After that all the debts has been come down. For example in Tamil Nadu my Tanjadko was facing 42,000 bad debts. After joining in Uday scheme, today they are just started making as a profit oriented organization. Our policy now towards the discounts, how to strengthen the discount, to stabilize the discount, how to manage the payments for the renewable energy sector bills. This is to be first to be established, the mechanism. Unless until you make the payment for the generation of the power, the developer will be losing. Yes, it is given by nature, solar power. Yes, we do agree there is no requirement for much raw material other than the capital investment. But what is the capital investment also is the cost. 
So that has to be honored by DISCOMS in proper time. And there should not be any renegotiations on the PPS signed. This has created a lot of doldrums and confusions among the investors across the globe. This is a major issue, either Gujarat or any of the part of the country. There is no need to renegotiate for any of the PPAs. It has been stipulated, it has to be mandated by Government of India through the Renewable Energy Organization and the discounts to listen for that. So this is what, what we need from the developers. So stabilizing the discount, honoring the payments, aggregating the lands, I can suggest this country is having a lot of barren lands available in all the states. Let us request the Government of India, you identify all such barren lands to be established for the solar power, then the land issues can be sorted out. But all those barren lands where the solar power is coming up, all this grid connectivity also to be established. This is what we look forward. And again, I would like to mention that end of the day, it is not only the payment, again, the cost, the development cost and the investment cost has to be supported by the low cost funding, which is what we are lagging behind. My friend sitting on diocese from S Bank, I would like to request S Bank or any other bank for the past two weeks, the ISA has come forward to mix and match, inviting all the bankers, those who are committed in the RE Invest to support the solar power projects. How many banks has completed that target? We have to re invest and we have to see that banks, I am not talking as politician, I am talking as industrialist. I am also a solar power developer from Tamil Nadu. How the developers are suffering for want of funds today, we know, sir. Every bank has closed the door in the recent past after the Nirav Modi issues. When the banks are going to support this kind of wrong trading and illegal activities, my genuine request to all the banks, all the power, in, all the institutions in this country, to support exclusively solar power generator or renewable power generator at low cost funding. Yes, bank today accumulated with a lot of funding from abroad in pension fund, insurance fund or any funds. European Bank is investing, Asian Development Bank is investing, World Bank identified various projects. But the truth is, today, none of the Indian banks are ready to reduce the rate of interest below 8.5 or worst commerce 8.25. Why this? When you want the low cost power, why can't you reduce the cost of the interest? This is the basic question I am raising with all the financial institutions. I brought big delegation even to our industry and ministry of commerce to come out of the switch, to come out of the grievance of the anti-dumping. My friends from China, they asked me, China Chamber of Commerce represented, everybody represented, yes. At this moment, this confusion is not required. We want to balance this country, one side the manufacturing, yes, make in India. The other side, 175 gigawatt renewable energy. Both has to be balanced. We need not fight for their issues and our issues. What is our issue? When you sign a PPA, when you undertake a tender, there should not be any kind of doldrums, there should not be any kind of troubles for the developer issuing in between the kind of imposing of anti-dumping duty or the safeguard duty. All the duties can be come. It can be imposed on the developer after, after some time. Today, our requirement is to reach the target of 100 gigawatt. Everybody is talking, yes, 20 gigawatt we achieved in India. How we are going to achieve another 80 gigawatts in the solar? Where is the source for funding at low cost? Where is the question of removing the confusion from the anti-dumping and the safeguard duty? Beyond that, every developer, they suffered a lot in all the shipments, whatever they brought to many ports of this country. 4,000 megawatt of solar panels has been held up because there was no clearance, there is no any clear-cut identification, this product should be identified for this much of customs import duty. My friends, I am not discouraging anyone of you. I am representing the, facing the problems today, after three years, after four years, when we think that, when just we floated, created the policy to go for 175 gigawatt, now we achieved, only we achieved about 20 gigawatts. Definitely India can achieve remaining also, provided there should be a supporting policy, there should be a supporting low cost funding, there should be support for acquiring the lands without any problems. One of a great uh, developer of this country who is manufacturing the panels, cells and as well as EPC company as well as the solar power module manufacturer, they acquired a land. But Within 15 days, they could not enter the land because of other issues, local issues, they have come out. This kind of issues has to be kept full stop. Then, coming for all these talks, what we are having, EV, ESS, everything we are talking, energy, storage, yes, we welcome. But where is the storage uh, basic? Do you have any battery plant in this country, lithium-ion battery plant? No. 
We talk too much on that. I am not opposing, but I want to tell the truth. I want to ask the government, though I am from Bharati Janata Party representing, and as well as various organizations represent, I am saying with all the people, instead of going for the vast advertisement, you create a lot of R&D. You support R&D. All these 40 years, 50 years, the government has not spent money much on the R&D. Now we have to create a lot of center for excellence. Now we have to create a lot of uh, demo plants in this country. I appreciate now NICE, Indian Solar Association, sorry, uh, ESA has come forward to support a lot of new, new technologies. I support that. My dear friends, based on this, now some of the module manufacturers, some of the cell manufacturers approaching the government, yes, they want to see that no losses for them also. They are also Indian, they are also our partners, they are also our citizens, yes. We want to support them under Make in India, manufacturing sector to be strengthened. How it is to be strengthened? Incentivize, support them, not to kill the developers, not to kill the existing solar projects. Already the chit has come that we have to break for tea. Before tea, now two, three issues I started representing. Whenever I start representing the issues, this kind of shits will come. But I don't stop because we want to achieve Modi's dream of 100 gigawatt. We want to see that India is not bypassing the China. When I was addressing the conference in China, my friends knows that I declared in all the in front of all the delegates, yes, India is your competitor, not the enemy. Don't consider us an enemy. We are your competitor. We want to follow you in mega scale manufacturing. In the same way, this country, solar module, cell manufacturing to be supported. I am requesting MNRE officials, don't take much time, don't waste much time. Earlier manufacturing policy was defeated. Now I know MNRE is under preparation of a new policy for supporting the new manufacturing era. Yes, this has to be published in a month time. How much time we can wait for uh, taking the policy in this country? No, we don't want to waste our time. One way you support the solar developer, other way incentivize the manufacturing entities, support the manufacturing. I am talking truly, we talk about 20 gigawatts, first year uh, module, second year cell, third year in paper. Where we'll go for ingot? Where we'll go for poly polysilicon? This also to be given a serious thought. Polysilicon, unless until you manufacture in this country. Ingot has to be manufactured in this country. But now we can keep a view. First five years, yes, we can import the ingot, we can slice into wafers, we can go for cells, we can go for modules. Apply a new technology. Yesterday, Ingli has announced that toll bus bar module plant they identified, they exposed into Japanese exhibition. Yeah, we welcome that. Invite all the developers, invite all the technology company, invite the global leaders to India, attract them. As for my knowledge, only Lanji has committed and they are honoring the commitment to start their production in India. Other companies just, they announced, they went out. We have to review why they are going back. We want to bring them. We want to identify new technology in module manufacturing, cell manufacturing. How to reduce the cost in the manufacturing, how to support the existing manufacturing. All these are to be balanced. And now, only one clear cut we have to talk. This country decided to support to go for the clean energy and no more dirty energies. Yes, people are talking from the other sector, conventional energy. How can you live only with the renewable energy? Yes, we can live, provided the storage uh, technology has to be established. We can do that. For that, we can't invite all the environmental issues only going for a conventional technology, conventional energy. I am not opposing any thermal or anything. Yes, enough is enough. This country had seen all the fossil fuel vehicles. This country had seen all these conventional energies. Now it is the time to go for renewable energy. This is the time to go for solar. This is the time to see that India is becoming a global hub. That's the reason International Solar Alliance has been set up. When you set up this, you have to come forward with the low cost funding, with the technology, with the manufacturing, with the development of the solar projects. Either it is a ground mountain or it is a rooftop. Rooftop, everybody knows that we achieved only a small portion. Lot of nitty-gritties are there in the rooftop. It is not possible to explain within a few minutes. All those nitty-gritties has to be sorted out by sitting with the policy makers, by involving and inviting all the people involved in the solar rooftop. I could see when Karnataka announced 9.56 for the low solar rooftop, many of the hatcheries, many of the uh, cattle farms, the requirement is 200 kilowatt, but they mentioned that they are going for a 2 megawatt. Because the difference, the loss to the discount, the buyer has to pay more instead of 200 mega kilowatt is requirement, he has to buy 2 megawatts. The loss is there. So that's why many of the such kind of differences and the such kind of policies has been scrapped. So we have to review, 
sit and review everything, how to strengthen 40 gigawatt of rooftop, how to reach 100 gigawatt of solar energy, how to strengthen the manufacturing, how to come out of these grievances for the funding, how to come out the grievances on land, how to come out of the strengthening the grid, the green corridor, whatever we are getting every country's funding. The Prime Minister, now idea is to invite everybody, let them come to India, make in India. We would like to welcome, we would like to investment, we like to get the technology, our doors are open, red carpet welcome, 100% FDA also allowed. Now, at the end of the day, Indian banks has to realize that the people, those who are operating the financial institution is not sufficient. They have to give their first support to the solar energy and the renewable energy beyond the trade and other industry. Then only we can go for that. Every, country, every of the developer cannot go for any foreign funding. It is very difficult to manage that. So I requested Ministry of Renewable Energy and the Finance Ministry set up an exclusive bank, whether it's a green bank or renewable energy bank, we should be charged at below 7% rate of interest, then only the low cost tariff is possible, then only the kind of solar project will come. Finally, only one point, the solar energy need the generation guarantee insurance that we are discussing with various, various insurance companies. Now, government has decided all the four PSUs in the country is uh, cleared that policy by ARDA. Recently, we are going to launch, Indian Solar Association is going to launch this solar generation guarantee insurance scheme with the support of the Minicree and Swiss Re. In this also, I am not hesitating to say that Chinese reinsurance companies has not supported this policy. In spite 90% of the modules come from China, they say that they can guarantee only for the product, they can't guarantee for the generation. So, at this stage, I request already, I met a lot of Chinese people, a lot of Chinese developers, I request all of them also, when you show interest to sell the product to India, you ask your reinsurance companies to support for this cost also. So these are the things we have to keep in our mind. So all together, I am not blaming anybody, so all together, the government, the officials, the funding and the industries all has to come under one forum to sort out the issues to develop the solar power, everybody. Prime Minister says that affordable solar power to each and every home under the Sobagya scheme. This scheme requires a lot of lithium batteries. This also has to be given a serious thought. EV, this also give, to be given a serious thought. Now, let us discuss later on all the subjects related for EV and ESS and other technologies related for module manufacturing, cell manufacturing and the uh, inverter manufacturing. Recently, a study has come that uh, silica carbide is to be utilized uh, to reduce the cost of the inverter, to reduce the cost and size, thickness and weight of the inverter. So these are all the upcoming and ongoing technologies happening in the country, in the worldwide. So we have to give serious thought on this. Only one thing, without the support of officials, without the support of the bank, we cannot survive in this country, whatever, whoever may be the ruler, whoever, whichever the party. So I request all these people related for these institutions has to have a positive mind like our Eva reformist. So, my S-Bank friend will come forward to announce here that what rate of interest is going to reduce for the solar power. Let it be a token. Let it be a token. Whether you fund for 1 megawatt, 10 megawatt, 100 megawatt, he announced here that should be the motivation for all the developers. With this, let me conclude the speech. Thank you very much, sir. Namaskar. Jai Hind.